60% of Pakistani female graduates do not join the workforce, which is pretty shocking. So we again need more women's participation from those who are getting an education. And I would say to them, you know, start exploring even in your college days, what gets you enthusiastic and excited? You know, because you, you have to be involved in something that you enjoy. And you will learn this not by just thinking about it, but by doing and by doing small experiments. I remember even when I was at Harvard and I had had a career in microfinance, but I wanted to do something different. I was quite anxious, like, what am I going to do next? You know, where do I begin? Who am I? You know, if I'm not that uh, person doing microfinance, who am I? I had still not created a new professional identity. And that was very uh, confusing for someone who had a very clear identity before. So it is disorienting. But you go through that process and I would go to lectures and talks and you know just start paying attention to where do I feel excited and uh, then in conversations with colleagues and that's how it all sort of started coming together and when I came to Pakistan and I uh, started a pilot with digital skills with She Loves Tech I could see that this is something that I really connect with. So I think for any young person, I would say it's important to, uh, you know, experiment and try and figure out what excites you, what interests you, and to run small ex uh, experiments and pilots, and then go in that field. Of course, if you're part of a corporation, I think what helps you is the discipline that it brings you, for you. So being in a systematic environment, you know, working with colleagues, uh, so that kind of capabilities, collaboration, diversity, uh, you know, learning to work with different people, solving problems, those are great capabilities. Uh, you may want to do that if you're still figuring out things. But Pakistan needs entrepreneurs, Pakistan needs people in tech, and we need people who are problem solvers. And we could be diving into any problem that excites you and then giving it the next, you know, five years, eight years, ten years to see what can do and then go and speak to people about it. This is, this is what I'm thinking of, what do you think? You keep refining your idea. You don't work in isolation. And in today's world, I think no one has an excuse to just sit and be like, you know, I, I don't know what to do because there's so much out there. In fact, we need to filter, uh, you know, what we're absorbing. And I think it's really important as a young person also to sort of just work on your well-being, like keep yourself in a good space, in a hopeful, optimistic space, listen to stuff, uh, you know, motivational talks. Uh, people who have made mistakes, who have failed, so you get inspired from them and you learn.